conditional statements. What a conditional statement is, is just a logical statement that has two parts. A hypothesis, which is represented by the letter P, and a conclusion, which is represented by the letter Q. We can also write conditional statements in what is known as if-then form. So we say if the hypothesis, then the conclusion. So we can also write this as if P, then Q, and this notation is what we might see, P and then an arrow pointing to Q, which we would read as P implies Q. So let's look at example one. We have a statement that says all 60 degree angles are acute angles. So we're going to identify the hypothesis, we'll identify the conclusion, and then we'll write it in if-then form. So our hypothesis would be all 60 degree angles. So that would be H um, for our hypothesis, which we could use P, and acute angles would be our conclusion. So now we can write that in if-then form. We can say if an angle measures 60 degrees, then it is an acute angle. All right. Along with conditional statements, we have something called a negation. A negation is when we just make the opposite of the original statement. So we have a symbol here that we use, it's kind of a squiggly line, and it just reads not P. So negation is just the opposite, right? So for this example, we have the car is blue. To negate this, we would say the car is not blue. And that's an example of what a negation is. The reason we have that is because it brings us to some related conditionals. Our original statement, or what we looked at just on example one, was a conditional statement, if P then Q. Some of our related conditionals, we have a converse, an inverse, and a contrapositive. These statements, these if-then statements, switch our hypothesis and our conclusion and also add in some negations. So for the converse, if you notice, all we do is we switch the hypothesis and conclusion. So there's no negation going on with the converse. So for a conditional, we have if P then Q. So our converse would be if Q then P. We just switch the hypothesis and the conclusion. For the inverse, we keep the order the same, but we negate both the hypothesis and the conclusion. So if not P, then not Q. And our last one is the contrapositive. We switch the hypothesis and conclusion, and we make the negation. So if not Q, then not P. So what we can do is we can take an original statement, we can write it as a conditional statement, an if-then form, then we can look at these related conditionals and we can evaluate each of these conditionals to see if they are true or false. And once we do this, if we get two statements that are both true, then we would say they are logically equivalent statements. So let's look at an example where we use these related conditionals. So example three says, let P be you are in New York City. So that's our hypothesis. And Q be you are in the United States. So our conditional would just be if P then Q. So we say, if you are in, I'm going to abbreviate, if you are in New York City, then you are in the United States. Well, if you're in New York City, are you in the U.S.? Yes, you are. So we would say this is a true statement. Okay, so now let's look at the converse. Let's see if the converse is true. So we're going to switch. So we're going to say, if you are in the United States, then you are in New York City. Well, if you're in the U.S., anywhere in the U.S., does that necessarily mean you're in New York City? No, there are lots of other cities and places you could be besides New York City and still be in the U.S. So that the converse of that statement is false. Now the inverse, the inverse is sort of related to our conditional where we don't switch the P and Q, we just negate them. So we would say, if you are not in New York City, then you are not in the United States. Okay, well, that's going to be similar to the converse, right? There are a lot of other places you could be besides New York City and still be in the U.S. So we would say this statement is false. And our last one is the contrapositive. Contrapositive, we switch the P and Q. So we switch the hypothesis and the conclusion, and we negate both of those. So we would write this as if you are 
not in the United States, then you are not in New York City. Well, and that statement would be true, right? We have to be in the USA for us to be in New York City. And those are conditional statements. Mm -hmm.